Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> Back to cooking this morning. Got some bacon, some eggs, or some bacon and hash browns. I think I'll just have the same thing I had yesterday. Bacon, hash browns, eggs. Maybe I'm going to fix me some toast today. It's just biscuits. Quit dropping stuff. cheese back up because I'm not gonna, I was gonna make a sandwich. But I decided not to. I had some coffee in my mug in my uh, thermos but it wasn't quite warm enough. So, uh, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit. Gotta have the coffee. Still pretty warm, but I heated it up some. Got enough there for one more cup. up some all right I got that Texas pecan flavored coffee that's pretty good stuff I got it from the truck stop so I need to get my salt and pepper Sad day for America today. Donald Trump's leaving the White House. And uh, we're getting that freaking nut job. They call Joe Biden. Can them Camilla, Camel Toe Harris, whatever her name is. I think Camel Toe fits her better. Camel Toe Harris. She, um, She's going to be president. You know that, right? You know that they're going to pull Joe Biden out of there in a month or two. He ain't competent. They know it. They did it on purpose. They did all that on purpose because he, he's a Trojan horse, and they got him in there. So, uh... Mm-mm-mm. Good bacon right there. Got my hash browns are cooking. Getting me some paper towels. Don't make such a big mess this morning. Yep, he's leaving office. He left office this morning, and um, welcome Joe Biden. I guess we'll see what goes on. You know that our taxes are going to go up. The country's going to be more fighting at each other. With you know, we're just undivided right now, and it's just going to get worse with with Biden in there, and then the. Uh, left wing nut jobs in Congress and Senate are in control. Then you got the generation that Ronald Reagan warned us about. One generation away from being no longer being free or being socialist. And that generation has arrived. So this next two years you need to really figure out who we're gonna vote in Congress and get rid of a bunch of those idiots out of there. We got two years, then we got to do something. If we don't do something in two years, we might as well just give up, throw our hands in the air, quit our job, sit at the house, draw welfare, because uh, that's what this country's going to be. They'll tell you what, what 
building or what area you got to go to that what day you got to go to to get your groceries your potatoes and rice that's all they're gonna give you potatoes and rice and maybe some cheese because uh, they can care less about the American people I'll be back when I get it done all right Everything done but the eggs. Put some eggs in here. I'm a three egg guy. Put the top back on it so it cooks a little quicker. Yep, I'm ready for breakfast. I'm tired. I've been up all night. Delivered my load early, early this morning. Got there at three. Got there at two o'clock. They didn't get me out of there until after seven this morning. So, put my eggs back in the refrigerator. Got me a refrigerator. Those are looking good. Mm -mm -mm. Lift my tighter a little bit more. They'll be done when these eggs get done. Bacon back on top of there to keep them warm. Yep, so cooking breakfast in the truck again. A good coffee. this no more. Put my Crisco up there where it belongs. I do need to salt and pepper my eggs though. See if we get these eggs flipped. There's one, two, three. Couple minutes right there on that side. And they're done. Go ahead and turn this off. Don't need it on. Done, gotta cool it down anyway. my toast. Here it is. Bacon, eggs, hash browns, toast. 
That's breakfast, truck drivers. Hope you all had just as good of a meal as I'm having without having to go in that truck stop and pay $15 for a meal you ain't gonna like. That'll be it for us. We appreciate it and enjoyed it.